Hey everybody, Tony and Melissa here with Two Chef Mission. We're so excited that you guys are able to join us here in our recipe club. Today we're actually going to be demonstrating how to make a healthy uh, turkey chili. And let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I already started a pan off um, with a little bit of oil in it. And I heated it to about medium high heat. And I added in our onions. And right now... We are just sweating them, um, which means that you are cooking them um, to release their flavor, but you're not getting color. So we've been cooking these for about two or three minutes, so we're going to add in our carrots. And our celery. And we're going to let those cook down for a minute. And as you start adding ingredients, what you want to do is season it so that you season each la layer as you put it in. So that's some salt, and we're going to put some pepper. We're just going to let it cook. A little bit longer. And the next thing we're going to add is some fresh garlic. If you want to add some really big flavors into pretty much any dish, add in onion and garlic. Because not a lot of effort, a lot of flavor. And then our last, well, second to last vegetable we're adding is going to be some bell pepper. Now, I picked yellow bell pepper. If you don't like yellow bell pepper, you can feel free to pick red, orange, or green. And with our turkey chili, because it's the holiday time, we had some leftover turkey that we are gonna use in here. If you don't have any leftover turkey that you can either dice up or shred, go ahead and use some ground turkey. Now, as you can see in the pan, um, our onions, as long as you can see, I'll bring it closer. Our onions, our onions are getting translucent, which means that they're cooked. And um, so it's ready to add your turkey and our tomatoes. So today we have uh, filming for us my niece, who's being a little bit of crazy and now she wants to get in the shot, and there she is. Which is She's perfect, because she usually runs away from cameras. <laughs> <laughs> we added in our turkey, and we're going to add in... Diced tomatoes. <laughs> diced tomatoes. And our tomato oh sauce. God, I like pants. We're going to add in our tomato sauce. And a lot of times, show you um, your tomato sauce and your diced tomatoes are gonna have extra tomato sauce inside that doesn't come out. So what we usually like to do is we like to add some water to it so you get all of that flavor out. Mm -hmm. and just add a little bit of water and then you just spin it around just to really pull all that flavor off the wall. And then once you got a lot of that flavor out, you can just come back in and you can go ahead and put it right into the pot. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding some salt and pepper. And then I'm also going to add in our spices, which are going to be cumin, paprika, and some chili powder. So we're going to add in about a tablespoon of cumin. About the same amount as of paprika.
you know, a little bit more on the chili powder. And then mix that together. And then our last ingredient that we're gonna add is some cannellini beans. Um, you could really use any bean that you like in this recipe. We just chose a cannellini bean. And then put some water in there. And, and then same thing goes with the beans. You're gonna have a little bit of extra uh, juice and flavor on the inside, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water in here. And then just stir it up, just to really be able to pull it all off the side of the walls. And then fill it up one more time. So. After that, um, we're gonna add, you can add either some stock or some water, um, anywhere between 12 to 16 ounces, and we're gonna let our chili cook. So make get all those flavors working together and let them cook for a bit. So about 15 minutes or so. Hey, as you can see, it's already been 15 minutes and we're so ready to go ahead and try this. So what we're gonna do is gonna take a nice little spoon, dig in here, get a little bit of everything. Mm. That is amazing. A little hot, just because of the temperature and it's cooking still, but it tastes absolutely amazing. So as you can see right here on the pan, you see a little bit of a, like a marking or a lining. That's just because the, the chili itself reduced, so it really opened up a lot more of the flavors while coming down. Well, this chili is ready to go ahead and serve, so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a bowl, get ready to sit down, have a great dinner, and we really hope, we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.